All right, welcome back fellow gamers. So today we have for you a review and pretty much unboxing of Tsuro. The T is kind of silent, but I don't know. <laughs> and what it is, it, it dubs itself the game of the path. And uh, let's open it up and then I'll show you how to play. So first thing uh, is pretty sturdy box actually. I've had this game for, for a bit, even though I see said it's an unboxing video. Um, it's an unboxing video because it's the first time you're seeing it. <laughs> then you've got this nice little piece of parchment paper here. Not, not parchment paper, but you know what I mean. And here you have the rule book in Spanish and other languages. But like, to be quite honest, you don't even need the rule book. This is, this is the rule book for English. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. The game is, is pretty straightforward. This is the board. You then have the cards here. Whoopsie. And then you got this card. I actually don't know what this means. <laughs> it just gets put in there. And then finally, you have the pieces. I don't know if you can hear this, but they're kind of like some sort of, they're not plastic. They got some, they got some clicking to it. But they're, they're high quality. This is a high quality game, which is nice. It's nice to see for a change. <laughs> How do we play? How do we play? Well, that's a good question. I'm happy you asked. <laughs> so the board set up here. Now let me just see if I can get it in frame here. Is it in frame? So this is the plane surface and as you'll notice they're each divided up into squares and little dash marks here. Now what's going to happen is the dash marks actually coincide, if I can get the men stick, with tiles. So these tiles and so as you can see they perfectly match perfectly line up isn't that glorious <laughs> and you and however many uh, amount of people so we'll say two people so we'll say blue and red and i'm let, let's just take a second isn't the game board beautiful like this is a beautiful design i'm a big fan and red's gonna start there so you each start by picking up a tile oopsie now what's gonna happen is that you, play, you place the tile down and then you move along that path. You can only go one direction. You can't go back, you have to go forward. And then, so this person will have moved up to here. So the next person goes and takes his tile and sees, okay, well, it's got like, you know, looks a bit like spaghetti, but hey, hey, we can make this work, right? So if you were to put it like this, he follows the path right off the board and that means he is eliminated. So the idea here is to not get eliminated. <laughs> Just like MXC, right? Don't get eliminated. So you go up here, you're good. Person here, and it honestly, it just continues on and on. So it becomes a game of planning out your, your strategic and you, you add to your side. You don't add to somebody else's side, so you can't force somebody to flip off unless you have like, unless you have a way of it moving your own piece. So if, you know, near the end of the game, you and you and Red, so we'll say just, you know, for, for funsies here, you're like this, you, you would be able to put this here so that you can continue and Blue would be forced to continue onwards as well. If I had a piece that would have shot him off well then he loses the game so it becomes a game of survival and who can stay on the board longest and it gets pretty intense with more uh, more players obviously there are quite a few different options i've played it two players it's not bad two players uh but it definitely <coughs> but it definitely kicks up a notch once we have a few extra players and it the board starts dwindling down to just a few spaces it really becomes tense and it's all based on how you plan out and, and try to stay safe. Obviously there's a bit of randomness, the fact that you're picking from face down cards or tiles. But aside from that, like if, if you try to keep yourself away from the edges and out of danger, you'll be good to go. But everybody else is doing that too, so it becomes a, a battle of wits. The game plays, as I mentioned, anywhere from two to eight players, and it takes from 15 to 20 minutes to play a game, sometimes shorter. I've done games in about eight or nine minutes, and that's fairly regular once you get players who 
kind of speed up their, their returns and they don't take too long. It's, it's a great light game. Again, just like a few of the other videos that I've, or games that I've reviewed on my channel. If you're looking to get somebody into gaming, you can try with this. It offers a bit of strategy, but not enough that you get analysis paralysis, right? Uh, games move quickly. So really, if you want somebody to get into gaming, this is another option for you. Or if you yourself want something that's a bit lighter and fair, you don't want to play a game that takes several hours and you're you're showing a few gray hairs at the end of it, this is a game to definitely play to lighten the mood. Uh, I would like to know your opinion. Have you played this game or does this game look interesting to you? And if not, what about it doesn't look interesting? And, and conversely, what does look interesting to you? I, I would really like to know. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. If you'd like to see more, click on one of the two videos that are there or click on show more in the description below to see when and what we upload as well as when we stream. And if you need an update on what exactly we're going to be streaming that week, don't be shy to hit us up in the comments or reach out to us on Twitter. We'll be more than happy to chat. <laughs> Until next time, good gaming.